In this figure, we have a part of a circle that has the radius of 15 units. At point C, the radius is perpendicular to the line segment CB that has the length of 4.5 units. The angle ABC measures 102 degrees and we need to find the length AB. To find AB, first we will start by connecting points O and B. Now we have a right triangle formed BCO. In this right triangle, one side is 15 units, the other one is 4.5, and we can find the hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem. We will write that one side squared plus the other side squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So 15 squared plus 4.5 squared equals OB squared. The left side is 245.25 and the right side is OB squared. Then to find OB, we will take the square root of 245.25. Then OB is approximately 15.25. 66 units. Now, in the next step, we will find the angle OBC. In this right triangle, the side OC is the opposite of this angle and the side CB is the adjacent side. Then to find this angle, we will use the tangent function. In a right triangle, the tangent of an acute angle equals the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. So tangent of angle OBC equals 15 divided by 4.5. And now to find the angle OBC, we will take the tangent inverse of 15 over 4.5. Then we will use a calculator and the calculator has to be in degree mode. Then angle OBC is approximately 73.3 degrees. Once we know the angle OBC, we can find the angle ABO by subtracting 73.3 degrees from 102 degrees. So angle ABO equals 102 degrees minus 73.3 degrees. Then angle ABO equals 28.7 degrees. In the next step, we will connect the points A and O to form another triangle. In this triangle, the side AO is 15 units because this is the radius of the circle. The side BO is 15.66 units and the angle ABO is 28.7 degrees. This triangle is not a right triangle, and to find the side AB, we will use the law of science. So, before we continue, let's review the law of science. So, here we have a triangle with the angles A, B, and C. The side opposite of angle A is side A, and the side opposite of angle B is side B, and the side opposite of angle C is side C. Then the law of science tells us that side A divided by sine of angle A is equal to side B divided by sine of angle B, and this is equal to side C divided by sine of angle C. When we apply this law, we use only two of these ratios at a time. For example, if we know the angles A and B and side B, then we can use these two ratios to find side A. Notice that to find the side, we need to know the opposite angle as well as another side and its opposite angle. Now, in our triangle, we know one side and the opposite angle, and to find the side AB, we also need to know the angle that is opposite of this side. To find this angle, first we need to find the angle 
OAB. I will clear here some space and we will find the angle OAB. I chose to find this angle because we know the opposite side. Then according to the law of science, side AO divided by sine of angle ABO equals side OB divided by sine of angle OAB. Then if we replace, we will have 15 divided by sine of 28.7 degrees equals 15.66 divided by sine of angle OAB. Now we will solve this equation and we will find the angle OAB and to solve it we will use cross multiplying. 15 multiplied by sine of angle OAB equals 15.66 multiplied by sine of 28.7 degrees. In the next step, we will divide both sides by 15. Then on the left side, 15 will cancel. And now to find the angle OAB, we will take sine inverse of the right side. So angle OAB equals sine inverse parenthesis and inside we will write 15.66 multiplied by sine of 28.7 degrees divided by 15. And then if we use a calculator, we will get that the angle OAB is approximately 30.09 degrees. And now in the given triangle, once we know these two angles, we can find the angle OAB by subtracting these two angles from 180 degrees. So angle AOB equals 180 degrees minus 30.09 and minus 28.7. Then angle AOB equals 121.21 degrees. And now, once we know this angle, we can use the law of science to find the side AB. First, I will clear up some space. Then we will write that side AB divided by sine of the opposite angle 121.21 degrees equals and now in the second ratio, I can use either one of the given sides and the opposite angle. For example, I can write side 15 divided by sine of the opposite angle of 28.7 degrees. To solve for AB, again I will use cross multiplying. And I will write that AB multiplied by sine of 28 Point seven degrees equals 15 multiplied by sine of 121.21 degrees. Now we will divide both sides by sine of 28.7 degrees and on the left side sine of 28.7 degrees will cancel and AB will be equal to 15 multiplied by sine of 121.21 degrees over sine of 28.7 degrees. Then we will use a calculator and again the calculator has to be in degree mode. Then we will find that AB is approximately 26.71 units. So we found AB and now the problem is completed. I hope you liked this problem and the solution and if you found any other way of solving it, please leave a comment and I will really appreciate it. Thank you for watching.